Did you ever overspend when you were trying to get a new product launched and then maybe had to cut corners elsewhere? Well, Chapter 13 in Stephen Schusler's book, It's a Jungle in There, is called Budget, Don't Begrudge It. And it's all about making sure that you have to, you know, that you, excuse me, uh, that you focus your ideas so that your budget can actually be met. Now, he's been guilty just like everyone else of uh, exceeding the budget and maybe even spending a lot more. And he kind of jokes about it, um, refers to the, the movie Bugsy, uh, you know, in the part that one of the guys ends up, you know, being killed in the movie because he kind of went over the budget, I believe, if I remember the, the storyline and what he had mentioned about the, the movie it, uh, itself here. So the self-examining question for the chapter is, do you give proper attention to keeping within budget when completing your projects? Now, it's crucial, crucial, crucial that you... You know, kind of like when you go and set forth in a project that you have, uh, you know, maybe a bulleted list that you're going to check off that you know you want to accomplish and, and achieve in actually getting the product, you know, put to market. But in the process, when you're getting it to market, you don't want to go over budget because if you start to spend more money than you've uh, budgeted for, next thing you know, maybe you don't have any money at the end to send out that advertisement. If you can't market it for it, that kind of totally refutes what we talked about in a previous chapter about you know what type of marketing are you doing and do you continue to market if you can't come out with maybe a good promotion so that people are aware of you and then you know are, are welcoming you uh, into their lives because they they remember what you came out with again that holy crap factor you know if you don't have the money to do that you know what ways are you gonna go about you know is it time that you have to put in there you know time still can be money you know but maybe that's gonna play a role maybe it won't the key idea is to making sure that you set a budget and then actually stick to it. You don't want to go and exceed your budget because next thing you know you fall into debt and if someone is supporting you, maybe you have an investor, they're not going to be too happy because usually they're going to want their money after a set period of time. Maybe if you have a good relationship with them, maybe they can give you an extension. Maybe they get a higher rate or a higher percentage of the interest and or the fee that's, that's generated back over you know a set amount of time. But again, the goal is in the relationships that you form. If you can get to a budget and stick with it, you're going to be a lot better off. If you start going over your budgets and you continue to go over your budgets, no one's going to want to work with you and you're going to be blacklisted in that environment because they're going to know that you aren't able to, skit, uh, to stick with what you've set forth. So again, the key idea is uh, sticking to a budget here. This has been Dave Gardner.